like my hat? Yeah. Looks good, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. I just went to the store the other day and I got another hat. Would you like to see it? Yeah. Yes. All right, hang on. Is that the gentleman in everything on that? Oh, shit. Look at this. Hey, look at this. Like that, right? Yeah. I think I uh, dropped it some wet Viagra. Don't hang my other hair on. But, you know, hey, I think, wait a minute. I'm getting an idea. I'm getting an idea. No, I'm just horny. <laughs> Can I borrow that? <laughs> In a dry year? Uh, pay, pay the <laughs> I uh, just recently uh, put an item on eBay to sell. And the description kind of goes like this. It's a, uh, a 1970s model uh, with a uh, Fair working parts, original body, um, has some highway miles, a lot of city miles, and for a test drive, contact me at eddie1970 at yahoo.com. Well, it must be the picture because I haven't gotten any footage yet. Would you like to see the picture? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 that's why I haven't gotten any footage. It's me. I'm trying to sell myself. <laughs> I uh, just recently went to a sex store the other day and I was going in there to buy my wife a vibrator because she, you know, she deserves a new one because she wore out the old one and I, I happened to get her the one with all the bells and whistles and with a the push start and I bring it home she's you know, playing with it but I'd be damned if I didn't have to go back to the sex store the next day and buy a helmet and writing lessons because you can't stay on the damn thing. Uh, you know, it, it's funny that uh, nowadays you can rent anything. You can rent it, uh, furniture, cars, just about anything. You can rent anything. Why not? I, can't, I, I was thinking the other day, why can't you rent a penis? So, you know, I was thinking that my head, you know, I can't have a commercial for a rental penis. So, you know, it'd be like this. Uh, you know, if your penis does not work, it's broke, it doesn't work, and then, you know, and it's just the wrong size for your wife, come down to rental penis and we'll rent your penis for $19.95. <laughs> but, you know, it doesn't have unlimited mileage. And you have to buy insurance. But if you go over a mileage, you have to pay for that. But if you break it, you bought it. <laughs> <laughs> My wife just recently had some. Oh, wait. I recently just had some tests done the other day at the doctor's office. And the test results came back while I was at the doctor's office. He comes in and goes, uh, Eddie, he says, I hate to tell you this, but you're, you're a lesbian. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll go with that. No? <laughs> All right. My wife just recently had some tests done the other day. <laughs> <laughs> she was waiting at home to, for the test results. She, she wanted to go shopping, which she, she couldn't go to the sex store. She already bought the white raider. Uh, but she wanted to go shopping, so I said, go ahead and go. And, she goes, I said, go ahead and go, and I'll wait for the doctor to call the girl. As soon as she left, the phone rang. He goes, Kurr. I go, hello? Oh, how are you doing, Dr. Brown? Oh, you got my wife's test result? He goes, yeah. Your wife has P PMS. I'm like, uh, what the hell? Oh, I'm like, okay, thanks, Doc. I, what the hell is PMS? He said, it's permanent premenstrual syndrome. She'll be angry, irritable, just unbearable to live with for the rest of her life. And uh, there is no cure. <laughs> yes, it is. And I'm like, all right, thanks, Doc. So I hang up the phone, and I go in the bedroom, and I pack a bag. And I leave a note that goes something like this. Honey, the doctor called, says you have PPMS. 
If you need any more uh, things from the doctor, call the doctor. I'll be back when they find a cure. I haven't been back since. <laughs>